going to check for seeds and tea by looking at the floor to see if there are any wires or spillages that may cause any slips or drips. I can see that there are none, so I'm happy to proceed. I'm going to draw the curtains and close the door behind me to provide my patient privacy and dignity. And before approaching my patient, I'm going to um, do hand hygiene according to WHO standards. So I'm going to apply gel on my hands and rub it palm to palm, back of the hands, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, thumbs in rotational motion, fingertips, fingertips, and let it air dry for 20 to 30 seconds. Seconds, and I'm, I'm ready to approach my patient. So, hello, good morning. Hi, morning. My name is Aya. I'm going to be your nurse for this morning. Um, and I'm here so I can suction um, secretion because the doctor is saying that you are unable to expectorate on your own. Um, but before doing that, I'd like to confirm if I'm with the correct patient. So, um, if I may, I'm just going to check with my documentation as you kindly tell me your name and date of birth as I double check. My name is Melody Costa Foss, 1950. Perfect. I, I can see that your MRN is 004321. I can confirm that I'm with the correct patient. So, Melo, uh, would you be able to tell me if you have any allergies at all to any food or drugs? No. Perfect. So, um, that is confirmed in my documentation as well. As I was saying earlier, I'm going to be assisting or performing this procedure at the bedside. Um, it's your nasopharyngeal suctioning because you're unable to expectorate your secretions. Mm -hmm. I'll be giving you instructions prior because later on you won't be able to speak at all. Um, it's an uncomfortable procedure but it won't be painful. Okay? Mm -hmm. I would like you to know that there are several things that we have to maintain in this procedure. So first, we're going to have to sit you semi-upright position or you have you in a semi-upright position. I'm going to have to um, put the pillows behind your head if you will allow me. Okay, good, you need that. Thank you. So that your head doesn't tilt forward or backward at all and you can suction properly. Another thing is that we need to test your nostril latency because the suction catheter tubing is going to go through your nostril. Would you be able to do that for me by yes. closing one of your nostrils with one finger and yes. sniffing? Sniff. Okay, how about the other one? Sniff. Perfect. So which nostril would you prefer for us to do that? My left one. Your left one, okay, which is um actually optimum because we have the suction machine right here. Um, also, I'd like us to develop a hand signal. Mm -hmm. With that, I'm going to be um, going through your left nostril. So are you able to raise your right hand for me like this? Yes. Perfect. So if you um, feel uncomfortable at any point of the procedure, you may raise your right hand and I'm going to happily stop the procedure for you. So is that okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be monitoring you throughout the whole procedure, okay? So I'm going to monitor your color, your breathing pattern, your respiratory rate, your heart rate, your secretions and evidence of trauma and distress um, based on your pre-suction guidelines, okay? So do you have any questions for me before I prepare your materials? No. Perfect. So if you don't have any questions, but if you do later on, here's your call bell. Um, don't hesitate to give me a buzz if you need that, okay? Right, so before preparing all of my equipment that I need for the procedure, I'm going to first do hand hygiene according to WHO standard. Palm to palm, back of the hands, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, thumbs in rotational motion, fingertips, fingertips, and allow to dry for 20 to 30 seconds. For this procedure, I will need a tray. So, Miss Examiner, can you confirm if my tray is disposable or reusable? Disposable, right? So it's a disposable um, tray. I can see that it's clean, dry, and intact, and I'm happy to use it. It's got no holes on it. I will also need some suction catheter tubing in a dry and intact container. The packaging is clean. There is no discoloration, and the expiry date is at October 2025, so I'm happy to use that. I will also need a suction catheter appropriate for the size of my patient, which is about 10 or 12 um, French. Um, for this case, I have French 10 and it expires 2025 March, so I'm happy to use that as well. It's in a clean and dry, um, dry and intact packaging. I will also need a packet of sterile gauze for wiping my patient's um, face clean after the procedure. It's in an intact and dry packaging and it expires 2027 20, January, so I'm happy to use that. I will need a galley pot with some water for lubricating um, the patient's nostrils from when we begin the procedure and for flushing the suction catheter after the procedure. I've got all of my equipment here. I can now um, don my PPE, but before doing that, I'll do hand hygiene again. 
before putting on my apron, my gloves, my goggles, and my mask. And my goggles. Now I'm ready to approach my patient at the bedside. Right position like we mentioned that so that's good and and remember our hand signal later on okay so if you feel uncomfortable at any point um, just raise your right hand okay, okay. I'm also going to make sure that there's a working oxygen at the bedside and that the curtains are drawn for your privacy and don't worry and I'll be monitoring you all throughout the procedure all right okay right Mira so first before we begin I'm going to check that the suction machine is actually working okay so I'm gonna put it all the way up Right? I can see that it's working, but I'm going to check the suction. It's actually really good. I'm going to set it to 100 and 150 millimeter mercury before connecting all of the suction catheter tubing and the suction catheter using a septic non touch tube. I'm going to set this aside that I've prepared with warm sterile water. And actually, I'm going to open this first, your gauze, ready for when I need to wipe your face later on. And I'm going to start by connecting the suction catheter to it. I'm going to do that and attach it firmly. Make sure that it's tangle free. And now I'm going to attach the suction catheter using a septic non touch technique. Are we still okay on oh, Maru? Yes. Okay. I'm nervous. Oh, don't be. Don't worry. We'll be monitoring you throughout the procedure. And like I said, if ever you feel uncomfortable, um, raise your hand for me, okay? Okay. Right, so now I'm ready. Before doing that, I'm going to lubricate the suction, the put the suction catheter, about 15 to 20 centimeters into the sterile water that I prepared. Okay? Right. So Melo, I'm going to insert this as you uh, into your nostril as you inhale and until I feel a little bit of coughing and if a resistance is felt, okay? If I feel any bit of resistance, I'm going to withdraw the suction catheter one centimeter before actually I'm um, applying suction, all right? Okay, perfect. So now Melo, please inhale for me. Inhale. So I can feel that there's resistance. I'm going to withdraw it slowly in a rotating manner to avoid damaging structures with 10 second intervals. How does that feel, Melo? Um, not too bad. Okay, I'm now going to flush the suction catheter. Right, Melo, do you want us to do it again? Because we can do it up to two to three times. No, it's okay now. Perfect. Right, so now that you won't need any more suctioning, does that, does that make you feel a little bit better? Yes. Right, so I'm going to turn this off and just discard of this right here in the clinical waste bin. And then I'm just going to give you a piece of gauze just to wipe your face. Well done. Thank you for your cooperation. Do you feel comfortable at all, Melo? I am. Perfect. Right. So hopefully we shouldn't have to do this uh, again, but if you feel that we need to, please don't um, hesitate to tell us, okay? Okay. I'm now going to proceed to dispose of all this equipment. I'm going to be documenting the procedure that, that has happened, okay? All right. Perfect. Please give us a buzz if you need anything, okay? Okay. Perfect. So now for disposing of the equipment. Earlier at the bedside, there was a clinical waste bin that was there. So I already disposed of the suction catheter and tubing that I used with the patient there in the clinical waste bin. I will have the packaging for the suction catheter tubing. I'm going to be putting it in the domestic waste bin and all of this will go in the clinical waste bin. Right. So now it comes to the removal of the PPE. First, we have to remove our apron. 
So when we're moving, we have to consider the dirtiest to the cleanest part first. I'm gonna do my gloves and put it in the clinical waste bin. Do my hand hygiene. Right? And then proceed to remove my goggles by leaning forward a little bit. Taking care not to touch the clean parts of my face and discarding it in the clinical waste bin. Or if it's a reusable one, it may be cleaned by a clinical wipe according to local policy for cleaning it. And then proceed to do to remove my mask by getting the loop part from behind my ears and discarding it in the clinical waste bin. And then finally performing hand hygiene to end your station. <laughs>